Alright guys, heading down to Bayou Lacombe, a little speckled trout fishing. John Farley's been on a tear recently uh, with this weather warm up. Today looks beautiful. Uh, winds 8 to 12. Uh, we got southeasterly winds. It's been warm. Uh, high of 85 today. So, looks pretty good. Uh, we'll see, see what we can do. What's going on, John? Hey, hey. Ready? How you doing? How you doing? I'm ready. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. What's the plan? All right, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Pylon today. And that's about a mile south of Goose Point. Real simple fishing trip. We're just going to go out there. We're going to approach the fish very carefully and cautiously. I'm going to show a few tricks about how to not spook the fish and how to look at the area because it's a small reef, a big pole in the water, and there's some flats around it. So you kind of have to fish it all to figure out where, where to hold at that moment and just wear them out. Sounds good. All right. This the start, you know, it's like 11 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, past right couple days, it? they've been biting in the midday. Okay. So we're going to hope that holds true today. John, I noticed you're slowing down and we're a good ways away from the pylon. Can you explain the significance of that? Well, I wanted some time to talk about that, approaching the pylon. It really depends on the wind. Uh, they got a gentleman fishing it right now, and uh, I saw him yesterday. Uh, he's, uh, he's doing the right thing. He's fishing off the back of his boat. He's anchored up. Um, when you approach in, the fish are are easily spooked. Any, anything new that comes in, a boat, you know, they, they, they kind of they shut down for a minute. So you don't want to mess up the people fishing. Now, um, the courteous way to, most, the most courteous thing to do would be to come in and let the wind blow you in or use a trolling motor um, if, if you can. And uh, kind of talk to the people who are there. You don't want to park your boat on top of where they're fishing or where the fish are. It messes up for everyone. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to come in real slowly. When I get close enough to use a trolling motor, I'll use that, and I'll talk to the guy. I'll see, you know, what he's doing and if he's catching fish, or if not, then I'll just keep the trolling motor down and kind of try to help him find the fish. Pop that paint for you. Didn't even feel it. The boat, yeah. That happened to me yesterday. Every time I catch a fish, I lose the same. Nice enough, it's right. Hit him. Looking good. Oh man. Come on. Hold on, I 
I got a bite. I got a bite too. Get him in. Alright, Adam, give me the camera. This is it. This is what we're looking for right here. Yeah, bite. Shrimp Creole, three eighths ounce head. Out of Bay Lake Home, 240 on your compass. You drive until you get there. Not that far, maybe a mile and a half. That's the pylon right there. Right behind the pylon, that's Goose Point. We are miles south of Goose Point. We're 15 feet south of the pylon. We're casting towards Mandeville here. redfish we've seen today. We'll Come on, get that track. fish in. Oh. Is that your line? Yeah, you caught my line too. That doesn't what we're go. doing is we're casting past this shell pile, cast real past, right past it, then we're reeling in right right across it, and you're going to feel that pull Yeah. Pull the hook. Yeah. Woo, good job. Another one. Nice fish. Fishing, I felt a hit. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Resisting. I got a fish on. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> uh, that was a big fish. Oh, man. Get him, get him. Net him. If he feels too big, net him. <laughs> <laughs> 